くなったのは何もお前だけじゃない主眼What's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're going to be having a look at the super evolution of Rob Lucci. This was a character that I was really looking forward to receiving a 6 plus because even on release I felt like this character had like some untapped potential but I, I was really expecting a lot more from this character's super evolution. I was hoping that they added a few more utility pieces to his kit. Unfortunately, they didn't do that. It is a little bit frustrating because sometimes super evolutions receive literally the perfect treatment and they get all the buffs that they need. Like case in point, V3 Rayleigh, that character was just kind of mediocre. He had some niche usages for sure, but then that 6 plus added like another layer of usability to him. And I was really hoping that Rob Lucci was going to receive that treatment. Unfortunately, he kind of didn't and they just kind of buffed his numbers and made him like a super offensive threat. But there's plenty of offensive threats in One Piece Treasure Cruise. Damage usually is not really that big of an issue in most content. Usually, if a character has like a great utility on top of having great damage, that's when we start talking about amazing characters. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's give a little bit of a discussion piece about this guy. And of course, this one is with max level limit break. So this is the best possible Rob Lucci that you could get. Of course, I don't have expansion, but that only adds cooldown and some additional statistics. But the captain ability gives minus one turn of cooldown. I was kind of hoping that the captain ability was going to give more turns of cooldown, considering he's a pretty fast character. So I was hoping that cooldown was going to be kind of like his forte. Unfortunately not. And then he now will go ahead and boost not only decks, but also powerhouse, fighter, and shooter characters with a 5.5 times attack boost uh, if they have a matching slot. If they don't have a matching slot, you still get 5.25 times as well as 1.5 health, so lots of HP to go. And also, he has the effect of greatly boosting the chances of landing on a matching slot. I will say the chances of landing on a matching slot with him as the captain is actually very good. It's a very big increase, I must admit. And then it says that if you use a special ability to boost your slot effects, an orb boosting special, he it will actually extend the duration of that orb boost by one turn and also heals the crew by one times recovery, this character's recovery, for every perfect that you hit, as well as healing 30% of the damage you receive during a battle. So I feel like Bandai really value, or I feel like they overvalue the usefulness of healing at the end of each battle, um, because we've seen characters in the past that have this ability, they just kind of give them that as their captain, and they feel like that's completely busted, and they don't really give much else to the unit. And they've done the same here, they've done it with Katakuris in the past, like Basil Hawkins had a very similar thing as well. I feel like Bandai definitely overvalue how good that actually is, because in most cases it really doesn't matter, because if you kill the opponent before they kill you, you're good to go, right? So the tankiness aspect of, of the captain effect is just kind of like whatever. Healing with perfects can definitely be useful. Um, and then extending orb boost is obviously pretty good, especially if you're using characters, um, other characters on your crew that are orb boosters, because he can make use of that, which is kind of nice. Nice. And then his super type, so if you use him as a captain, the activation requirement is very simple. Just any time you have an orb boost on your team, so very easy to activate. And then the super type will do a bit of damage to all enemies and extend the uh, duration of base attack boosts by one turn and further buff orb boosts by 0.5. So this goes hand in hand with his special ability, but overall it doesn't really do a lot. Damage, buffing orb boosts, and then extending the duration of base attack, it just, it's kind of like whatever. Like they really should have given him something actually useful in that super type uh, as well as i feel like they should have had uh, one of the activation requirements should have been like having one of the other cypher pole characters on your crew because then you could actually use this super type to wave clear certain stages but the fact that you need to have an orb boost activated means that you need to activate a special or use a switch effect in order to make the super type become active so a bit of a missed opportunity there honestly in terms of the design of this unit but moving forward, the special ability of Rob Lucci, uh, one big thing about this unit and why, you know, people may often use this guy is that in his special, he completely removes defense up on the opponent's side of the field. That's obviously very good, completely remo removing defense up. But more often than not, at least in today's day and age, defense down is just kind of the king because if you're able to just apply defense down, not only are you getting rid of the defense, but you also can have a conditional boost that gives you more damage on top of that. So... 
the removal of defense up is kind of like a mediocre debuff removal on the opponent's side. He also removes seven turns of burn, which is kind of an underrated kind of thing that he has. Removal of burn is pretty nice. And then also does 200 times his attack and non-type damage to all enemies, so you love damage dealing specials. And then he will go ahead and give Dex, Powerhouse, Shooter, and Fighter characters 1,750 base attack for two turns, and then if you have a, uh, what, what do they call it, tap timing bonus damage, if tap timing bonus damage is applied, then you can further increase your base attack by 250, meaning that if you launch the special and you have tap timing bonus damage, then the base attack boost is 2000, which is pretty strong. Now, it says that also after that, you add 200 times his attack in non-type tap timing bonus damage for three turns. So meaning that, you know, when you launch the special, you get tap timing bonus damage, but if you have it before the special is launched, then you get the additional bonus base attack. And then it says that if you have an orb boost when you launch the special, you inflict two times increased damage taken to the opponent for two turns. But if you don't have an orb boost, then you still get a dex, powerhouse, shooter, and fighter character orb boost for 2.75 for two turns. And of course, if you use him as a captain, the orb boost that Rob Lucci provides will be extended to a three turn orb boost. So the way that they've designed the unit is they've made it so that if you use double Rob Lucci, you can get 2000 base attack boost to your crew for two turns. You can get the increased damage taken on the opponent side of the field, and you can get an orb boost for multiple turns. Now, that's all well and good, but, but considering the character lacks utility, that's going to be a problem. Running double Rob Lucci is not something that is going to be actively feasible in a lot of uh, endgame content. So the best way to kind of abuse this is, well, it, it really depends as well, because the increased damage taken is a very nice component of his kit, but he doesn't do it through status effects. But still, being able to apply that as long as you have some other type of orb boost, and, you know, 2.75 orb boost from Lucci himself is fine, but there's definitely better orb boosters out there. So being able to apply a different orb boost and then and go ahead and use Rob Lucci special, that's a way around it too. He can synergize with the new 10th anniversary ace that came out because this character not only is Dex, but is also a shooter character. And you know, Ace has a very good orb boost, so you can use Ace's orb boost then Lucci to give increased damage taken. Or alternatively, you can use Lucci special for his orb boost and then Ace special to get the ignited conditional boost. So there's lots of cool synergies there. And Ace also gives a, a lot of cooldown reduction as well, which is kind of nice. But overall, I am kind of disappointed. I was just hoping this character had a lot more going for him but you know the fact that he boosts a lot more classes now definitely raises his usability but considering the lack of utility and debuff removal uh, it makes it a little bit difficult to use in a lot of end game content but let me know your thoughts and opinions about Rob Lucci down below in the comment section I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys I'll see you guys within the next video